My name is Jose Barboza. I'm an associate professor here at the uh, University of Tennessee, particularly the Department of Biology. And uh, biology, geology, and environmental science, to be fair. Uh, with the help of Dr. Wilferth, which is, who is the associate dean of the department, and uh, with his initiative and uh, his uh, uh, leadership, we got the opportunity to get uh, uh, this one acre of land that they gave us behind the Angle Stadium to start the garden. When uh, this garden started, one of the concerns we have was the how the students that we want to touch, we want to reach to, to teach them how to produce uh, the uh, produce foods and grow plants and so on, was to do it properly without depending on chemicals and other inputs that we believe that can be and are actually detrimental to the environment and also to the to the health of the person who consumed those products. Last year, in terms of the pluviometry, amount of rain, it was an excessive, excessively dry year. And in spite of that, at the expense of watering the field we had with hoses and buckets, relying on students and some volunteers, we had an extremely high yield considering the circumstance and uh, everything we produce, I would say more than 80% of what we produce went to the uh, Chattanooga Community Kitchen. And by the end of the year we had produced, we had turned in to the Community Kitchen around 2,100 pounds of food. That, uh, if, uh, if you live in those areas that are considered to be food desert, if you can produce your own food, start your own garden, the only thing you can achieve is improving the quality of food you have access to. Uh, I have noticed that uh, uh, youth nowadays, they don't know how to make a plant grow. You cannot produce any food. So someone has to start learning. For that, someone has to teach them. Why not me? My name is uh, Ron Slinger. I'm an environmental science major here at UTC. I'm in my last year, my senior year. I've been going here for the past three years or so. Uh, I learned about the garden through Dr. Barbosa. Um, I just know it's a great project to try and connect the students here with something other than sports or uh, other than Greek life. Just something to try and get students more involved in the school. I would say I've met good people through it. Uh, just enjoyed being outside, that's most of it for me. As an environmental science major, just being outside, being able to help something like that has definitely been something I've enjoyed in the past. Um, well, as I said earlier, it kind of um, gives students an extra chance to be a part of the school. Um, it's just a nice opportunity to be able to connect with students, grow something that actually will help the school, and more than just the school, it just is a big help in general. Um, it's just something nice to be a, a part of, really. It's nice to have a garden program on campus that mainly focuses on organic gardening, um, trying to teach students how to garden without using all these new fertilizers and treatments that you see so much of these days. Um, trying to go towards the more natural side of gardening. Well, being outside, first off, is a huge plus. As we all know, we're always stuck in these classrooms and to be able to have something outside that you can be a part of is a great feeling. Just being able to be hands-on about the work you do, not do the work and not being able to see what you accomplish. And with this, you get to really see these things grow, really see what you've done. And it's a good feeling for everyone involved, from teachers to students.